Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I feel like I really need to tell somebody this story. I was a kid um, growing up in the Church of God in Christ in Wilmington, Delaware, and my teacher and, well, several teachers and counselors and other folks had helped to make a way for me to be able to go to college. Now, college had been a dream, like, since I could remember. It was, it replaced the, I want to marry Michael Jackson dream. <laughs> it was the thing that I would pray for every time I'd go up with that unspoken request. There was always an altar call and then they'd say, does anybody have an unspoken request? Something that you haven't said out loud, but you want to have happen. And I mean, you know, I don't think the same way about those kinds of things now, but I would go up and I would pray for two things. I would pray for my mother to be healed, her soul to be healed, and I would pray to be able to go to college. And both have happened. And I announced or said out loud that I was going to go to college and people began to say, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. Folks that I loved, that I cared for, that I knew had my best interest at heart. They said, no, we don't think that's what God wants you to do. And I had to weigh my desire, my um, the fulfillment of my desire against these folks who I believed in, loved, hoped, you know, knew hope the best for me. And I had to, as a child, um, step out of what I couldn't see and look at what I could. And I knew that these were folks that I volunteered for, with. I did all kinds of work and cleaning and repairing and fixing and doing. Then I did all kinds of things. And I knew that me leaving was going to mean those things going away. And I didn't want to believe that that could be the motivation for them telling me they didn't think God wanted me to go. So I just kept praying and I said, you know, I don't understand this, God. I don't understand how we could be of two minds and saying that the source is the same. And I remember one of them coming to me saying, you're going to go to college and you have to go to college, but I don't want you to go because who am I going to have with me if you go away? I was so grateful for that truth. Um, that that her admitting that that's truly what it was enabled me to freely do what I knew I truly desired and I knew was right. Sometimes the thing we see is not the thing that the folks we love, believe in, hope for can see. Sometimes our dreams and wishes and things evolve and we have to step away from folks we thought believed the same way we did. It's a hard road and I don't know why I'm telling you this story today, but somebody knows. And I think if we can be honest with our own self and say, if this is what I heard, this is what I desired, this is what I've worked for, nobody should be upset when the good things happen that you have put your heart and your head to do. And when they are, love them and pray. I love you.